Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Panasonic HC VX870 camcorder that I bought from Expedite Electronics. Uh, the reason for me buying this is so I can upgrade my YouTube videos to 4K quality. Um, at the moment I am using a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition which is capable of 4K. Um, however, the amount of time it takes to process that video, remove the fisheye um, and import it just takes a lot of time and it's a lot of time that I don't have. Um, I did look into all different ways of being able to video in 4K. One of the options was to try and upgrade my DSLR, but that was rather costly. I was looking over a thousand pounds just to upgrade. Um, I currently do use a DSLR for my photos, as you can see here, using a Sigma 18-35mm lens, which I also bought from Expedite Electronics. Um, but as far as videoing is concerned, it's just not the best setup. For low light, yes, it's great, um, but it doesn't really do well for me for video. Um, I find that the Nikon range um, of cameras, I used this in another camera before, just isn't the best really when it comes to videoing. So I thought, let's have a look into other options. And this was a camcorder that actually caught my eye. Um, some of you may be thinking, why didn't I go for the newer model? Because there's a newer model out now, which is the HCVX980. Um, and the main reason being is because most cameras at the moment are doing exactly the same thing. Um, they all record in 4K, 25 frames per second, um, unless you want to pay obscene money. Uh, to get 60 frames per second, which actually for what I do, I don't really need. And if I want to get really good 60 frames per second quality, I can always drop down to 1080p. Um, so that's the reason why. So this camcorder has been out just short of a year. Um, I think it came out, or at least the reviews were around May last year. And the main reason why I decided to go ahead with this camcorder is because of the price. It's uh, currently retailing on Expedite Electronics for £435. That's including shipping. Um, I ordered this, I believe, on Sunday and it's arrived today and it's a Monday the week after. So it's been five working days straight to me and I believe it does ship from China. Um, so we're going to go ahead, I'm going to do a quick unboxing video. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail about the camcorder, there's plenty of other videos about um, what people think of it, but I'm going to do an unboxing followed by some test shots, um, and then maybe in a later review you can. Um, I, might, I might go into detail about it, or just check out some of my future videos because I intend to have this as my primary camera. So let's go ahead and see what you get when you order from Expedite Electronics. So it comes packaged well. I'll give them that. There's no way this is getting damaged. So let me remove that. That will be my invoice. You don't need to see my personal details. And sorry for the bad lighting. I am filming this at night. Let's get that out of the way. And this is the box you get. So as you can see, this is the HC VX870 uh, 4K. I do believe this is the international model. I can't see it saying it anywhere. Um, no, nope, can't see any details about it on there. Um, but as you may be able to see on here, uh, 4K photo, it's uh, the twin camera, which means essentially I can connect my iPhone to it and it should work as a second screen. Uh, HDR movie, uh, which means it's high dynamic range, um, which if you've got an iPhone or a, a newer Android phone, you'll see that <clears throat> it works out the range and it's uh, it means it's not underexposed, it's not overexposed, it tries to dynamically work out what the best lighting it needs to be um, as far as aperture is concerned. Um, it has a 20 times optical zoom. I do believe that is higher, or at least the intelligent zoom is higher if you drop down to 1080p. 
uh, level shot function, which essentially means that if your video is slightly skew if, slightly to an angle, it brings it so that it's straight again. Um, be interesting to see how that works. I've heard mixed reviews about that because apparently it can be quite joddery when it's trying to readjust itself, um, but you can turn it off. Um, night mode function, so that sounds quite interesting. I'm gonna try and do some test shots of that and full HD with slow motion video. Now, I'm not too sure. I haven't looked too much into detail about that, um, but it might do 60 frames per second. It might do 120. I don't really know at this point. Then on the side, uh, gives you information about Wi-Fi certified, all that general jargon, as well as the accessories that you can get for it. Um, I don't think I'll be buying any of these apart from extra batteries and maybe a case, but we'll see what it's, we'll see what it's like. Extra jargon information on the back. Um, nothing really exciting there. Then on the other side, which must be my sort of serial number. So let's see what you get in the box. Okay. So one camcorder, which we'll come back to shortly. Very exciting instructions, which I will probably never read. Uh, this is, I'll open that in a second. That's the lens covering. Get that out of the way. We have, oh, that's nice. Micro HDMI cable to full HD, which I'll actually use on my tablets. Uh, micro USB. A UK charger, oh, so that's good. UK charge plug. The hot shoe adapter. A EU plug, that'll be handy for when I go abroad. Uh, whatever that is, oh, charge, charge power plug. And battery. Great, so let's move the stuff out of the way that we're not bothered by. So chargers, we don't need to see, charge plug, adapters, battery, and hot shoe adapter. So let's just open up that so we've got it ready. So this sits on the front of the um, of the camcorder. Now quite a lot of people say that it does actually, uh, the hole here doesn't actually work very well with the light on the front for the night vision. Um, so we'll see how that works. But this is the camcorder, this is what you get. So here we are. It's quite a nice finish. It's sort of a um, a textured plastic. I don't know how close I can get with this actually fixing in focus. Um, yeah, but it looks quite smart. It's bigger than what you think. I have quite normal sized hands, I believe. So it feels it feels quite big. My hands go right over it, but um, it's bigger than most of the sort of 1080p models that I've seen. Uh, which is actually quite good for me. It feels a little bit sturdier. I don't like these small, really plasticky camcorders. And um, this still feels plasticky, but it still it's it feels a little bit better quality than some I've seen before. So let's go ahead and actually see what you get on this. So let's start off with the top. So this apparently has 5.1 channel surround sound. Um, I don't know how actual useful that will be. I've seen a lot of people get um, a dead cat or uh, basically like a wind sock and put it over the top with an elastic band to stop the wind and apparently that makes a lot of a difference. Um, but it's meant to be okay, but it's still meant to be a bit tinny. Um, and yeah, you can see windshield, it's already got one built in, but it, it won't be that good. Um, moving down, you've got your NFC. So if you've got an Android phone, uh, it means you can just tap on there and it'll connect automatically. You've got your zoom here and then followed by your photo button. Then on the back you've got your hot shoe plate or your hot shoe connector, that's where you put your hot shoe, uh, where you put your battery, we'll put that in now actually. 
if I can do this. It's always the way on camera. Um, I should just slide on there. What am I doing wrong? Oh, would help. Put it halfway up, slide it on. Um, then you've got your actual record button there. Then on the side you've got the hand strap, which is quite nice. Quite nice leather material. Um, there's your five volt in. You've got your headphone jack there, which a few people have said that you might worry about breaking. Um, but I don't know how often you want to record and listen to it at the same time. I won't be very often. I'll only be to test my, test my audio when I'm um, starting my recordings. So that shouldn't affect me too much. Then on the front, you have uh, your actual lens light there. Uh, this sits on top. I'm not going to attach it just yet. You have your, um, what appears to be infrared, maybe some sort of infrared control, I'm not too sure. Um, then you have your camera function and you also have your manual control, I believe. So I believe instead of having a focus ring, you have a manual control here. So I don't know how good that's going to be, but also it acts as a function button. Um, on the bottom, you have your SD card slot, which for me is great. A few people have complained about it being there. Um, but because it's quite far away from where it'll sit on a hot sh um, on a tripod mount, uh, it shouldn't make any difference. So actually, it should be quite useful for getting the card in and out. Then opening up the front, we have the camcorder. So on there, we have the screen, um, touch screen apparently. I'll have to test that later on. Then we have the micro USB connection. Looks a bit different. Not too sure on that. You've got your micro HDMI. You've got your uh, audio video out. So that's if you're sending it to um, to a TV with your standard three pin cables. Um, then you also have a mic in, which is going to be really useful for me. Uh, you have your battery release, power, turning on and off of Wi-Fi. That, I believe, is your um, auto uh, auto level function. So you can turn it off if it gets in the way, and that should be your play. And then you obviously you've got your hot shoe release adapter. So the hot shoe adapter should just slide in. It sits on the back. Quite a lot of people have been complaining about this, but I actually quite like that. So it means that when I'm out and about, and I do want to just take it off, instead of taking off the entire piece, uh, whether it is an external microphone or, or um, a light, I should just be able to flick that and release it straight out. Um, one thing that no one's done in their videos yet is actually test a mic on the top of it. So I do actually happen to have a Rode Video Mic Go, um, which I'm hoping to use in my future videos as well as my um, lav mic. And a lot of people say you can't access the zoom, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's a tight fit. Oh no, that's because I've got something in the bottom, that's why. Let me take this out. I have an adapter to put it onto a normal tripod. There we go, so let's put that on there. Okay, so I can confirm it sits on just fine. Um, I'm not going to be, uh, a few people complain that you can't zoom in and zoom out. Completely misses it if you can see it on there. I don't know what it'll be like with a uh, Rode VideoMic Pro um, or another type of shotgun mic, but yeah, completely misses it, which I quite like. Um, I think some of the others, they sit further forward, which can sit over the front, which means that you might end up getting it in shot. But this sits just a little bit further back, so that's quite nice. And then it means that when I've had enough of using it or I need to take it off, I can just take it off straight on the adapter and there it's unplugged again. So yeah, so it looks all right. I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, from what it looks for so far, I need to see what it shoots like. So I'm going to charge this thing up and I'm going to include some sample footage.